This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report, today, June 22nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, for about the last two and a half hours, we've seen a disturbance with Earth's electromagnetic field here. Started just before 1800 UTC time. It's been ongoing now for about two and a half hours. It's currently 2012 UTC time as I do this, which means it's 312 Central Time here in the U.S. Now, we all know that when we see a disturbance in Earth's magnetic field, we usually will see a Schumann resonance spike, and that's exactly what we do see here. The Schumann resonance spikes started about 1745 UTC time, which is about 1245 Central here in the U.S., we had some pretty significant spikes up to probably around 80 hertz, maybe higher. You can see the geophones getting hit really hard up here in pink. We did have a moment of quiet here. I would say about 10 or 15 minutes of quiet. And then we're back to spiking here. You can see the geophone hit again. A lot of these spikes went to about 60 hertz, 65 hertz. And it's arguable they went even further. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're definitely in an event. Taking a look at the six-day comparison of our Schumann residence activity, we did see a lot of activity yesterday. Our agitator was lightning, as it most always is. And today, we've just started our event. And again, this has been ongoing for just over two and a half hours. And these spikes are all off the chart. The chart's here ending at 50 hertz. Because this model was built prior to the highest spike ever seen at 37 hertz in 2017, which has been beat every year since then. Why is the Schumann residence spiking higher and higher every year? Well, we're going to figure that out together. All right, taking a look at the amplitudes. It's like we had a little activity back here right around... 1345 UTC time and the latest event occurred here and again this is going to be close to 1730 UTC time 1745 was our first guess this is going to be about 1245 central time here this afternoon we're ongoing and you can see that lull that we took of our Schumann residence this is showing up best on our ULF noise monitors, although I will say that we finally are seeing our geophones activate here. The snow on top of them must be melting. We also can identify the spike with our ELF noise monitors, and the dip here starts exactly when we guess this event started with our second SR frequency. So everything confirms that we're going through a Schumann resonance spike over to windy.com take a look at the modeling center and what's going on in the area well of course we're seeing a lightning storm and our modeling station is located right around let's see if we can pull it up here should be right around here so as you can see uh that center has seen a lot of lightning in the area over the past several hours and we might be headed for a another lull because you can see there is some area uh, between the next storm and the storm that was over the modeling center although these sensors will probably pick up lightning that's several hundred miles off okay we're gonna head over to NOAA's discover real-time solar wind satellite 
So I can show you that at 1830, 1875 here when the event started, our shields are down, indicated in pink here. Our shields seem to only rise if we're experiencing space weather. And to date, I have not seen space weather and the Schumann residence spike very high at all at the same time if the shields are blue, i.e. up. A quick pictorial of what's going on and why our shields are spiking higher and higher every year. First off, we need an agitator. In this case, we're seeing lightning storms near or over the modeling station itself. Now, before 2017, that agitator would go into Earth's atmosphere and bounce off regularly the F1 or F2 layer. And as our atmosphere deteriorates i believe because of a 3600 year pole flip well our f layer and e layer dissipate so we're stuck with the agitator here being lightning bouncing off a much lower level of the atmosphere and returning to the sensors with much more velocity and strength making the Schumann resonance spikes stronger and stronger as we lose more and more of the atmosphere. Currently, our F and D layers have just about dissipated because, first off, we're not seeing any space weather. They do seem to pop out of nowhere when we're experiencing space weather. And these agitators are bouncing off the lowest level of our atmosphere, the D layer, before they return to the sensors i.e. making the spikes higher. Therefore, our Schumann resonance spikes that seem to be increasing every year have more to do with our dissipating atmosphere than the Schumann resonance really spiking higher and higher. Again, the agitator is bouncing off a much lower level of the atmosphere and returning to the monitoring station and the monitors much stronger and with more velocity. With that said, higher frequency and vibration, which we are getting, mathematically means that we should be moving into a higher dimension per M theory, super string theory, string theory, and so many other theories of all. Although I think that the Schumann resonance is actually spiking higher and higher each year because of the dissipating atmosphere and the pole flip. With that said, it still definitely can be affecting all living creatures. Its resting frequency is 7.83 hertz. And humans can even have a lower frequency than that if they sleep. But a good resting frequency, 7.83 hertz, is also known as Mother Earth's heartbeat. Now, I have seen studies showing that increased Schumann resonance up to about 15 hertz is beneficial both mentally and physically for individuals as long as they can return to the lower levels to recuperate and recover. Now, please let us know if you were able to sense the Schumann resonance spikes. Today, they were at about 1245 Central Time here in the U.S. You'll have to make the adjustment based on where you live. And if you were able to sense them, was it a positive or negative experience for you? With that said, it makes me, well, kind of like blah. God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in bizarro world.